Dear viewer, in our previous videos we saw the difference between pull production system and push production system. How can ban play a vital role in the pull production system and what are the 8 rules to be followed while implementing Kanban system? I will provide the links of those videos in the description. In this video we will understand about the two most commonly used Kanban, production Kanban and withdrawal Kanban. In simple words production Kanban authorizes production of goods. Whereas move or withdraw Kanban authorizes movement of parts from one workstation to another station. Let us see a very easy to understand real life example. When we order for a pizza and cool drink in a restaurant, the waiter will generate two slips basically two Kanban. A production Kanban for pizza and a move or withdraw Kanban for the cool drink. Production Kanban will be handed over to the kitchen and that will initiate the process of making pizza. Move or withdraw Kanban will be given to the bar to move a unit. In this case bottle of cool drink from refrigerator to table. Hope the example was easy to understand. Let us understand this in detail. A production Kanban is the simplest form of pull system. If there is no Kanban then there is no need of the product and hence there is no production required. Production Kanban signal can be of different types. A vacant or empty space can be considered as production Kanban signal. Example, if biscuit tray is empty then the bakery owner considers this as a production Kanban signal to make more biscuits and refill the tray. Production Kanban can also be an electronic signal. For example, when a customer log into a food ordering platform and order pizza, this electronic order will be received by the restaurant. This will be considered as production Kanban signal. And kitchen will start making pizza as per the order. In many cases a production Kanban can be simply a card with information. The very easy to understand real life example is the job card that get generated in service center for maintenance or repair of an automobile. Whatever be the type of Kanban signals are. The objective of production Kanban signal is to bring the information of the demand level from downstream process to upstream process. Move or withdraw Kanban is to do with movement of materials. Move or withdraw Kanban trigger parts delivery to the line either from an internal warehouse or external supermarket. In this example based on the move or withdraw Kanban card, a particular color, type and quantity of fabric is released from internal warehouse to production line. Hope the video was useful to understand the two commonly used types of Kanban, production Kanban and withdraw Kanban. For more videos on lean manufacturing concepts please subscribe our channel.